in this tutorial we will learn about 2.5 axis milling machine operation and uh, we will create a operation only with the help of a sketch not any feature we will draw a random sketch and we will cut this pocket in simple block so let's see how to do in solidworks cam okay here we are going to create one solid model and uh, we will not do any extrude or cut feature we will simply use uh, a sketch to create our cutting in milling with the help of 2.5 axis mill so always choose plane along with z axis which help us to create tool path front plane axis now let me activate corner rectangle and define this 150 150 now activate and let's make 20 mm reverse direction see keep end condition blind now see the machine cutting tool always works along z axis that's why we keep our face along z axis now select the face sketch its spline now here i am going to make one cutting things okay now this is going to cut okay just simply exit perspective okay this looks better now we want to cut along this axis so just go to option add ins and here activate check the box solid box cam check both the boxes say okay even second box you don't need but let's check it so that it will appear here now look solid box came here cam if you go to tabs you will see this option will be here now the first thing let me save this go to desktop 2.5 axis milling 2.5 axis mill enter now first option always you have to define machine so let's say i am going to define here available machines you have to choose either milling operation or turning operation lathe or milling so we have to go for milling operation so choose milling select here i am going to choose medium duty machine say okay let's keep as it is now the next option we already keep axis in proper direction so we don't need to define coordinate system see this is already along let's keep okay now define the stock stock means the material which is going to use for this so stock type bounding box okay material i am going to choose here 4140 mid medium and high carbon steel and rest we will keep as it is we don't need to add anything say okay now the next thing is defined setup mill setup this is important now in mill setup we have to select one phase which is going to be new, a zero phase from where it's going to start now look this axis start from bottom means tool coming from bottom but we we don't want we want tool start from top face so select the top face now look the direction it goes downward if you look look this is going downward this is what we want simply rest keep as it is we don't need to change anything okay now before going to extract machinable feature now here we have mill setup if you select right feet right click on the mill setup and select 2.5 axis feature now first axis feature pocket we want to cut a pocket come down here available sketch there is two sketch and we have to select any one sketch so i am going to select this spline now look it will show you this is a kind of pocket 
even there are many things slots corner slots anything but this time we are going to cut this pocket select end condition in end condition you can define the depth now this is rough milling and finish also rough in rough mill it will cut it will remove more material but the surface will get rough now here direction so direction keep lined and simply say let's say 10 mm profile say okay now here see the feature is available here roughing feature now let's select the mill part and click here generate operation plan now here see three operation going to happen and three tools going to use here look so i am going to select uh, mill part generate tool path now here it creates the tool path look if you click on this and it will show you this is the cutting path which is going to be followed by tool second one the third one okay these three tools going to make this pocket now again let me select mill part setup simulate tool okay now here let me keep okay let's keep something like this here show differences we don't need section and here let's all set and simply play now see the tool is going to cut it will cut by three tools and uh, just watch and it will show you how is going to change the tool see it changes tool to small and this is a cutting side if i am going to fast it will cut faster look and this is the final tool look this is done so this is what we cut with the help of only sketch say okay now even let's say the first one if you want to right click edit definition now from here let's say first tool flat and tool now tool diameter if you want to change let's say 25 okay again generate tool path and right click on the uh, tool you can simply just play this one simulate tool path play and look this bigger tool look the tool size become bigger than the five previous one right click edit definition now from here you can control many things if you now in fs you can see there are operation library tools material stock material machine duty if we check operation now from here you will see control the spindle speed if you reduce the speed this spindle speed will be reduced even feed rate also you can control see this lead in feed rate when much material comes uh, tool comes out you can control this also feed rate this is also you can control all the speeds of the tool and feed rate then there is one option roughing this is important if you see this is the operation if i say zigzag look it is going to be like this just say preview and it is look okay now click generate tool path now right click on the first operation because we want to change operation direction simulate tool path okay now look
look how it is going to be cut straight way what we path decided so this is the best option see right click edit definition zigzag to pocket in the r normal procedure now this is the stop over percentage if we click see it will move 40% once it will reach once it will cut and reach again to the position 40% ahead of the diameter of this then here if you see first cut 50% second cut 50% so here from here you can control the depth we already choose equal okay so these are the few options you can control it from here okay now look this path we decide made now once you assign every operation simply go to save cl file this will be save the tool path where the tool motions happen so simply save it it, it is need some time so part 2 the next operation post processor now this is the final op operation where we are going to convert these operations into g code post process now save this one as a g code now here play now it will generate the nc code which is going to use for milling you can simply take this codes in say okay now see the g code is created look simply take this in pen drive and insert in milling machine and you can cut the things what we want in our exercise i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching